Welcome to Bigfoot Research. This video was compiled on March 2014 and it asked the questions of does the Bigfoot Garden of Eden project work? Now this video or series of videos is from a game camera that I hung in one of my Bigfoot Garden of Eden projects to see what kind of traffic it draws. The whole concept behind the Bigfoot Garden of Eden project was to make make the area the place to go to get something to eat for all animals because if the animals come Bigfoot will follow or at least that's the concept so I was I've been doing this now for oh, about five years and I found uh, an apple orchard and an abandoned apple orchard that was in an old uh, abandoned homestead and uh, the house and so forth is completely gone uh, you know and it's been do turned over um, and is in no longer in use however uh, I started taking care of the apple trees I started fertilizing them and pruning them and taking care of them and the apple uh, production increased uh, and pretty soon I was seeing more and more tracks of different types of animals in the area and so this last year in the fall when the apples were on I decided to hang a game camera and see what kind of traffic was in the area and it was quite surprising uh, actually this camera was only up for about three days and uh, therefore you'll be able to see what kind of animals showed up and uh, you make the judgment as to whether my Bigfoot Garden of Eden project really works. Now this uh, project has several benefits along with feeding the animals and, and making it possible for more of them to be in the area. Uh, one of them is I get to harvest some of the apples and so forth and these apples are great. They make wonderful pies and applesauce and fruit leather and uh, I harvest them for that and I also take the seeds. I've been able to take the seeds and restart them uh, into a next generation of apple, uh, apple trees for planting in various places. Uh, so this is I think a real win-win situation. Now these trees have proven to be native. I mean, they have been growing in this particular area since the early 1900s. And so therefore I'm not introducing a new species of tree into an environment. These have been there all along as far as I'm concerned. Um, so they're basically native trees with a little of assistance uh, to get started. and. Personally, I think it's work working. Um, as you can see, I have bears, I have deer, I have elk, and uh, I didn't get any shots of turkey, but there's turkey all over in there. And that's just because I've been uh, basically taking care of the apple trees. I also take care of the berry bushes. I fertilize them, the grapes, the wild grapes there by fertilizing them they become bigger and sweeter and uh, there's all kinds of use for these different types of uh, berries and so forth so the berry patches are really taking off they're they're loading up and and uh, last year there was a lot of berries uh, makes really great sense to me to be taking care of our environment uh, I kinda think that we are the keepers of the earth and we need to be doing stuff. Unfortunately, there has been forest fires in the area, and many of these forest fires have devastated the trees, the pine trees that are there. And uh, due to government cutbacks and expenditures and so forth, you don't see the replanting that used to happen after a major forest fire. And I don't know if that's because the Forest Service is running out of manpower or money or both but um, you know something like this I believe is a valuable project it could be done uh, wherever 
uh, it would help the help nature. So, again, my question is: Does the Bigfoot Garden of Eden project work? Well, regardless if it knits me a Bigfoot or not, I believe it does. Nature wins. Now I know I'm going to get a couple of comments from uh, some concerned environmentalists about the type of fertilizer that I may or may not be using. And uh, I, what I will say about this is I did my homework. I'm looking, I'm using fertilizers that are uh, basi basically um, nature friendly. They're um, they're good for the plants and the animals. They're not, you know, it's not going to poison the earth or anything like that. Not all fertilizers are bad. So, you know, if you're going to do this project, do a little bit of homework and figure out what you need. Um, another thing is, if you take on a project like this, it is a long-term project. You have to keep going there year after year to take care of the trees and to and to take care of the plants um, you know and because basically the animals uh, when they try to harvest the fruit sometimes they'll break branches and so forth so you'll need to mend the tree and or you know help fix up the area so that uh, the tree doesn't have troubles bleeding to death in the spring or you know something like that so yeah trimming the branches allows for to fix anything that might cause damage to the trees or has been damaged to the trees. Uh, they don't produce every year. It depends upon the rainfall. It uh, depends on the conditions, the amount of snow during the year and that kind of stuff like that. So you'll have good years and you're going to have bad years. Unfortunately in Arizona this year it looks like a very dry season and I don't think the apple blossoms are going to sit because there's not enough moisture to keep them on the trees. Um, so, you know, we may have to write this year off and hopefully next year uh, will be a good year for us. Now, if you decide to take on a project like this, um, you know, keep in mind that it is a long-term project and I have a couple of suggestions that uh, I want to make to the Bigfoot Garden of Eden project people and that is uh, you want to keep this kind of under your hat as to the locations that you're doing this to and for. Uh, the reason is not um, that you're doing anything wrong it's that if you were to let it out and people find the locations uh, you may run into problems during hunting season when the hunters move in and basically wipe out your animal life. So you have to weigh that. Uh, I understand hunting. It's a good method of getting meat and support, but be careful on what you do. And here I come to retrieve my camera. This was last year, um, and it's been a good year, pretty active. The animals seem to be happy and healthy. The trees are uh, performing well. Again, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.